Starting in five, four, three, two. And we're back with plus one Asian. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's dangerous uh, to go alone. How you doing, Eric? Oh, I'm doing great. Um, sorry I'm late, guys. I apologize. I tried to be here on time as fast as I could. I legitimately did, so my apology, guys. Oh, no problem. But, uh, no problem. As a I'm reward, here, so you're going to get thrown into it really hard and deep. No, it's okay. I got this. We got this. <coughs> Never say that. People <laughs> keep on saying that. But... No, no, Ellis, you know, this is the thing. I always say it, and then we don't get it, and then PJ laughs at us. Literally, okay. last game, someone said that. They crit failed. The game before that, someone said that. They crit failed. <laughs> But the funny part is, last time we were battling a spider ant, he said, we can't do this alone. No. And we did. Hey, hey, I think we got... Katie, you have to understand, you were extremely badass. You crit like three times. Twice. Three? Three? Three times? Something like that. Twice. Yeah. Something like that. Now, now, thanks to updates... I'm not as badass, so... <laughs> That's good, because you were broken. I was like, how did we just kill this creature? Just the two of us. I didn't have to do anything. Yeah, ma magic, magically, between the last spider, she found a spirit animal that none of, you that none of us can see. That none of you know about. None of us can see. <laughs> <laughs> and then comes over here. All right, so as we come back to the combat, we watch as the spider creature starts clicking its mandibles. Hmm. Uh, it's your right word. I can send you an image of spot of an anatomy if you like. Oh, I believe you. And, and then some of the effect triggers. And then someone's effect triggers. Yep. Okay. I heard it. I'm doing it. And that's how you spell it. It is right here. Yeah. yeah! Is that double? <laughs> no, not max. Almost max. It's the same, it's the same damage as last time. This is my initial. So you guys last. watch as part of its carapace looks like it's clawed by some looking, like slash looking mark, as it just like <laughs> and immediately lashes out at you, Darren. Okay. As if it looked like it blamed you for whatever happened. I think I blame me for whatever happened. I'm quite happy with myself. And it hits me. 10 damage. So, as I have 60% its... of my resistance. As it swings its arm and hits you. For that, it is 12. So I take 9. Also, Katie, for your macro, you might want to include that it's slashing damage. Okay. Since it does vary with that ability. Okay. Right. And that's it for its round. Round three. Everybody that spent energy gains it. Eli, all you've done so far is run and attack with your sword. You have nothing active. I never have anything active anyway. <laughs> all right. I don't have taunt for anything. Solana. What? <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> we don't need it, guys. We don't need it. I hate that. Alright, so as you shoot it in its head, it, like, buckles down from the hit. Though, so, still looks healthy. And I quickly shoot another one. As that one. Where is my hit chance? Where does it evade to? That is the chest. But where where the fuck did my hit chance go? It's 32, 31 to 70 is. is chest. Let me just make this super large so I don't lose it again. Alright. So as you shoot it and the chest, it like buckles up and starts to like flail bounce after getting hit by so many arrows as another one sinks into it plus two two keep track of your durability by the way um, i am yep 
And your weapon EXP. Zero. Got it. Alright, Darren. Um, I think I take a deep breath. Oop, wrong thing. Yes, regenerate! <laughs> yeah, take a deep breath and just kind of breathe on it. It's a lot more epic than it sounds. Hmm. So yeah. my dog is in incapacitated for two rounds? Maybe. If it... No. It just is. Yeah, maybe. I think. It can make its tumble. What's your DC? Um, 17. But no, that's just for the damage. Yeah. And... So, it takes half damage. <laughs> so it takes what? Uh, three... It takes two damage, or we round up or down the damage? Always round up. It takes two damage. So as it moves to the side, as <laughs> it gets hit by partially most of the wind, it gets hit in such a way that it looks like the wind is like buzzing around its head and just has an in a very awkward, not very combative sense. Kick the ever living shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, spend your energy. Um that doesn't have an energy cost. Yeah it does. It's thirty five. Is it? It is, oh, it's yeah, at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 didn't see that. Cool. Thought she's still on the ground. Eli. Ellie. Eli. Eli, Ellie. Ellie, Eli. 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 It's Eli. I mean, Ellie's the sister, so. <laughs> um. I guess, uh. Um, Eli would, uh, I would, um, how bad, how bad is Kimpachi looking? He is unconscious bad. and looks like he's about to, it looks bad. But does the creature look like it's, a uh, attempting to, it, you know? It looks like it's caught up in, like, a mini whirlwind and can't do anything right now. Courtesy okay, of um, that uh... For, for, for all I, purposes' um, sake, the, the the creature right now is incapacitated for a couple rounds. So we have two rounds to pretty much do whatever we want, and then it then it gets its move back. Yeah, I'm just gonna wail on it for two rounds. That's just me. Um, I don't. Okay, so okay, I'll just I'll just attack it. I'll attack it. <laughs> I'll swing my sword. Uh, with both hands. I'm assuming. Yes. I'll swing my sword with both hands. All right. Go ahead and hit. Try to find I try to hit. Try to... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Someone that says basic punch. Weapon hit. Okay. Uh, uh, basic punch. Basic punch. Basic punch. If you click your token, it should be on the little thing that pops Got up it. at the top. Uh, no modifier, right? Mm -hmm. No. Nice. That you is hit. a hit. It hits. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hit something, guys. <laughs> You're not fast enough to double attack. Oh, I know. It's okay, you missed my uh, my brain fart earlier. I tried rolling my evade as my initiative. <laughs> Everybody was like, what? No. As this thing is, like, moving around completely confused, you slice at its chest as... It gives off a howl. Backing off, son. A splatter of orange ichor leaves from its chest as it leaves a blood mark along the ground. As it's done for one round. Uh, start of its turn. Got it. Yep. My energy is draining so, far, so quickly. <laughs> 
Well, remember your own ability. Hey, Anthony, what does Sword and Board do? Do you know? Yeah, there's a message in in Roll20, because I can't do Skype very well, because it's on my phone. And Skype fucks up when I message shit. Alright. Okay. Start of your guys' turn. Understand? Yeah. Got it. Soliana's just gonna shoot it again. Alright, your arrow sinks into its chest again. Followed. Is there any reason we're not all doing cold shot chest? We've, we've been over there. Maybe you do have a reason. <clears throat> well, I haven't been doing cold shot because my attack accuracy is down the drain. How's your second arrow? Cold shot chest is time to one. Cold shot chest isn't a cold shot, that's general location. All the generals aren't called shot. Those are just generals. Alright. Darren. Okay. Alright. Moving as quickly as I am, I'm going to try and step under like one of its legs. And, like, take a like, hack at one of them. Which I think is like, just a normal hit. It's a two. Five times two. Ah. It's misses. Okay. So as you try to do so, its large frame is still very awkward as your blade swings wide. But you're still um, got a speed enough. of 10. Yeah, I've got a speed of yeah. 10, so i going to make a second attack. Yeah. This is not a cold shot. I'm just going to try and stab it somewhere. Oh, you would have made it. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> you get for doubting yourself. As you stick Stop your blade and run it straight through its chest as it pops through and actually pops off the back of its carapace as your blade sinks into it, just orange acre leaking, leaving a warm feeling on your hand as it gives off the... <laughs> as it falls limp on your blade. Can I quickly step out of the way before it actually falls on me? Just shake my sword off. Right. Is there any more about? <laughs> you don't have a tech speed. <laughs> we, we've been over this. It's what your class is. You don't have a tech speed. If you look on the front page of your character sheet, it's all the way at the bottom. How you calculate everything. So the creature falls in on its own gore as it just leaves a loud splat as the four of you three of you look at each other after heavy panting as you look to Kimpachi that is remaining motionless on the ground unconscious um I would rush over to Kimpachi and kneel down and give like a sad over day face as a you know like a cow face like you know those sad cow face with like big eyes and watery and just like <laughs> oh you was a you was a kind fellow Soliana would you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not certain he's dead really <laughs> um is it stabilized it's like check vitals like basic medical test yeah. And to give them HP. Yeah. Don't fail. Okay. I had yeah. No, nope, that's still a D20. I, but that's, I mean, we can just half that. No, half that's not how that works. A yeah. D10 and a D20 on roll 20 has a, a different percentile chance for numbers. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll just jump in the macro and change that. Oh, I've changed all yours. Uh, just, just roll, just roll a d10, I guess, and we'll just add the, the four bonus. So it's an eight. All right, so it's an eight. You stop him from, getting any worse of a condition, and you're able to, pull out what looks like a black barb that's at the back of his neck. Other than that, though, 
We don't know much about his condition. Is he breathing? He's breathing. Yeah, I'm a little Eli. He's still breathing. He'll be fine. Are you sure, Darren? He looks. Yeah, look at him. Odd guys like this have been so much worse. Oh, oh, oh all right. Okay. Oh. I just. <coughs> I cradle Kimpachi in my arms as I stand up and carry him. Arms. We're we're still in um we're in the bar, right? No. No. You're you're in a baker's house. Ah, uh, the baker's house. Yes. Um I would find like a uh a nearest like um couch or somewhere I can lay Kimpachi there, down. There's like, a convenient counter in the kitchen that you guys are in. <laughs> I would like to lay him down somewhere nice and comfy, if I can find it within the vicinity. As you look around, you do notice that there is another one of these cocoons hanging upside down from the rooftop. That looks like a uh, crack dweller sized cocoon. And then you'll remember when you first entered, I kept saying, save Juan. <laughs> oh, you weren't here oh, for that. Oh, I forgot. Um, 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 Doron, uh, cocoon? Yeah, you hold it up, make sure it doesn't fall. I was like, kind of like reach up and hack away the thing holding it up. Wait, 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 I still have Kimpachi in my arms. <laughs> As <laughs> the... <laughs> and I, I go in and I try to catch. Falls. <laughs> Give me a slide hand. Okay, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> As the crack dollar falls on to me and I start bleeding out. <laughs> uh, no, don't do this to me, guys. Don't make me do the slide hand. You get it. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Yeah, let's move silently. <laughs> oh, I rolled a natural set! Oh, no, damn! <laughs> no! No, this is let's even worse. silently. Okay, 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 I'll rejail it. Oh, oh. oh a one. Oh, oh a zero! A <laughs> what? Because he has negative Well, he's not two. trained in it. Oh... <laughs> Wait a second, I train So I, he misses and drops Kenpachi? No, I have Kenpachi. I, just, I was just a dive. I was a diving. I was a diving. Yeah, he, he, went, he went to go catch the Crag Dweller with me in his arms. Yeah, like a, like a trading Crag Dweller princess just. Or the cocoon just falls to the ground with a heavy bonk. <laughs> oh, good job, man. Okay. Kneel down to the cocoon. Like, again, just pop the stabilizer, try and like open up the face and see if it's still breathing. That, that's not what you use stabilize for. Well, you know, to, I want to restore hit points, but you know, I'm doing it in a RP way. No, I mean, you're, you, you, you have to find them. You, you can't stabilize cocoon. something you can't see. Oh, well, he no, just it's said, cut he, away a little bit. Said he cut him open and then he wants yeah, to stabilize. I, Oh, no, face, like, I need you to is. cut it open. Which one was a hit? Oh, that's right. You don't have a hundred percent hit chance. No, no, not that. I need you to actually cut it open. Give me a strength. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even help you in that field. So you have more strength than he does. I have a three, mate. He has Wait, a three. bonus for using my sword for this. Uh, it's your sword I... might. Okay. So, what's that? Well, that was 3 plus 7 then. Yeah. So, as you stick your sword into this. Not webbing. deep. Yeah, just trying to cut away the webbing. No. I'm not, I know there's a thing underneath it. I'm not trying to stab it and Stop. just open it up. Before you even do that, as you stick your sword into it, the webbing resists your sword and actually caves off the sound as if you're slicing against metal. Oh crap. Um... Um... Anyone? Metal? Is everything okay here, Dyron? Yeah, I think one's dead. What? You're unconscious. What? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <coughs> Can I, I didn't say a single in? thing, sir. 
that was Adam's up character. And he tried to uh, like separate the fibers. You want to try to separate the fibers? Yes. All right, give me a sleight of hand. You got this. That's You're fine. Not on my thing, so it's gonna take a second longer. S L. There it is. Save the wand. Save the world. So as Minus you start, five. Are dangerously necessary. Wand's a cheerleader. So as you start to move the strands away from one the top of the area. Yeah, she's untrained. Oh. Yeah, it's minus five. It's seven. Oh. You guys are trying to say. Am I the only one that's trained in sleight of hand? You try to dig your claws into it to get a good fixture on it, but you're just not having any luck. Okay. As you guys get happy as you hear the sound of like a pop. As you look as your one claw short. Oh. <laughs> You're muted. Hey, didn't this happen the last time? You're muted, too. I pull my paw away and just... Oh. <laughs> that stuff's tough. Uh, we, uh, uh, I find a place where I could put Kenpachi down nicely and gently, and then I... Uh, yeah, you know what? Frick it. I'm gonna take my sword and just, you know, whack it as hard as I can. See if I can crack it open. All right, give me your. Uh, how much of a cold shot are you wanting to do this? You know what? Eli's not that bright. No, no cold shot. Very little. So as much as you can, but very little. So just the heart. Very little. <laughs> Okay. Right. Or does your hit chance is over 100? It... Yeah. Uh, I think so. It's 104. Yeah. Is it? So... Yes. Yeah. Okay. As they're over there having issues, you come up and just bring your sword and slice down into it, and I believe your damage was 9. 8. 8. 8. 8. You slice against this webbing as. You guys are surprised as after he sparks it, it actually, or sliced it, it actually starts to spark. Like if you're slicing against metal. Okay. When we Is were approaching it? the house, was there smoke coming up from a chimney? There was not. There was not. Can I look around and see if there's any sort of. Um... You find a very great large stone oven. That has like a six foot, or not six foot, four foot wide hole to stick, like a giant pan of Royal. cookies. Right, but it, I'm looking, I'm going to have to roll for it, but I'm looking around to see if there's anything to like start a fire in the oven. Yeah, there is. It looks like it was Didn't being you... prepped. Okay, I want to start a fire in the oven, please. How do I do that? Survival? Your fire starter. If you have a back, uh, pack. I was looking around the house for one of those. Do you have a pack? Did you buy a $300 pack or gold pack? Sure. I'll mark off 300 gold. I forgot, but oh. yes, I would have. You want me to send you what the back holds? Please and thank you. So yes, I have a fire starter. Alright. As you go over to the area, you spark it as it takes no effort at all as the sparks begin to catch flame on the already prepared tender and logs. Um... Then I want to um, <clears throat> try to burn it since I see that the thing that Kimpachi was in had burn marks on it. 
also a chair leg or a anything. Torch. Yeah. And also the the bag holds up to it can hold up to ten units of weight extra for you. So whatever so you're normally you... able to carry plus ten. So as you bring the heat source next to it, the webbing begins to just crumple backwards as if, like, putting hair to fire. Okay, so I'm going to hold it far enough away that it doesn't catch, and, but close enough so the effect keeps going. All right, you do and so as it eventually burns away to see... An eyes closed dwarf and the dwarf. Cragmuller in the center. No, dwarf! His name's dwarf. Yep. yep. Um, can I check to see if he's breathing? It looks like he's breathing. Okay, I'm gonna try to stabilize him. Nope. Oh. No, nope. Nope, I killed him. <laughs> no. Spike's meant to be in his spine? Stamp it in. You think oh. it's a good idea to, to stabilize his wounds with a torch? Yeah, you try to figure out what's wrong with him, try to bring him back. As you look behind his neck, similar to what Kampashi's was, as you pull this black bar belt. But other than that, you don't know anything that's wrong with him. Okay. Um, Eli would just kind of hover over uh, Soliana and just be uh, Is he alright? We need to take him and have somebody see him. They're both not doing well. Uh, Ken will be fine. I think this guy died though. Being dropped on your head like that? Uh, oh. Well he's still breathing. What kind of life will he live? Well, we, we can't just leave him here. <laughs> oh, we no, like saved her from the gesture to the You're first. unconscious. <laughs> Is there any way I could uh, um, uh, do anything to help Kimpachi, you know, regain consciousness? Nope, he already got stabilized for it, unfortunately. I'm just throw some water on him. Slap him about a bit. I'm going to... Um, Exit the house and look out for a guard. I, I try to slap Kimpachi awake. No. Uh, well, he like, won't do any damage. Like, like slightly, just be like Kimpachi, wake up, wake up. I'm trying to tap him. Yeah. <laughs> like a. He well, tries like to Gallagher that. punch him awake. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to Gallagher punch him awake. I was thinking more open palm falcon punch. This on bridge of the nose. Uh, like, wake technically, up. he can unless unless he aims it. I I'll be fine. So as you go out there, you want me to roll a spot check for it? I want you to roll a spot check for it. You see a dwarf look like he's covered in armor, with a bunch of hey. like, puncture marks in the armor itself as he's walking with an air of importance as it looks like he's heading to the direction of the um, Emerald Wang. Hey look, it's the, just the guy we're looking for. I say, excuse me, sir. <laughs> and wave my hand towards him. He turns his head as he kind of gives a kind of, god damn it, as he gives you a snarl so he turns his head and spits. Okay. What, what do you want? There's a dead thing in here, and people that are injured. A dead thing? Big thing? Spider thing? I don't know what it's called. As you say that, he goes behind his shoulder as he pulls out this great axe that looks to be probably a size too large for him but somehow he's wielding it just fine where what where 
It's dead in the house. As he heavy foots it into the house, like shoulder checking you if you don't get out of his way. I do. Unapologetically. As he and bursts through the him. door. It's like, All right, where's the bloody beast? As he's looking dead. Come on. Yeah, gesture over my shoulder. In the back room, dead. As he goes over to seize it, he looks at its corpse, and just squints as he moves towards its back and takes his axe, turns it flat, pulls it over his head, and just starts beating the thorax of the creature over and over again. I'll sit there and watch. I think you've I got it, it, mate. He continues over and over, and you guys hear oh. as the back of it just splats open. As you see these small orange little orbs spew out of it, as it goes around and steps on each one of them. Oh, it was pregnant. All right, quick question. <coughs> Since I was waiting, we were waiting there, and um, and we spoke with the guards. Wouldn't that have been something that they'd done that we would have known to do? The guards didn't do it. Oh. This okay. is a surprising sight, yes. Okay. <coughs> um... I would say thank you. I didn't know that. Of course you wouldn't. You're fur for brains. She barely stifles an eye roll. I can't gesture at one. And what about him? You're not gonna smash him, are you? Oh no. Do you want me to? No. I think he's one of the only bakers you have in town. <coughs> he puts away his axe as he shakes the gore and the orange colored blood off of him as he moves over to him, grabs him by the cuff of his shirt and leans him up as the dwarf, or dwarf is just out of it and his head's just like slumped over. As he gives him a look, then <laughs> spits in his face as he takes Ugh. his thumb and rubs it over his eye and then takes it and rubs it over the other one. As he puts one finger underneath his eye socket and the rest of his hand over his um, forehead. As he then stands up, shakes his hands, and then Dwarf <coughs> Where's the bloody beast? Where? Oh, shut up! What? He's dead. What? What? As um, the Dwarf the arm returns. You see any more of them? Um, I killed one in Lower Town. Low Town. Any more other than that? Not yet. <coughs> Should we squish their backs if we see them? All of them? The ones with the orange blood. Okay. <clears throat> As he spits again, it's like, You might be a fur brain, but if you group were able to take it down, you might be worth something. I kind of roll my shoulders. It was mostly me. I kind of nod in agreement. If we find any more of them, it would be a personal favor if you smashed them in for me. 
And you are? Stormbreaker. Well, that is a coincidence. I think we had an appointment. Appointment? Was there a phone call for <laughs> Um, yeah, we wanted to speak to you about the recent thefts, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So as I'm looking at an imaginary notebook, it has <laughs> really vague notes in it. No, I'd imagine you were, like, scratching your head, looking up, yeah. like, um... <sighs> Public appearances. Fine, he says, moving, rubbing his head. He turns and sits down. As you pay attention, it looks like what he sat down looks to be Kimpachi. But it doesn't look like he cares. <laughs> Wait, he's sitting on Kimpachi? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I kinda I kinda like pull Kimpachi out and be like Boom. Excuse me. I'm using this. <laughs> Oh, well, he's my friend. You won't go and use him. He looks and over to him like, oh, looks more like a log. Oh, well, um, he's not. He's not a log. And I've seen many logs around, and he doesn't look like one. <laughs> <coughs> and Darren's just like leaning up against the counter, smirking. <laughs> He looks up at you, like squinting. I look down. <laughs> you know, I don't like the look in your eye. He says, turning <laughs> his head, spitting. Um. I just looks him down and be like, Well, um, don't look at him. <laughs> at you? <laughs> um, Without so yeah, changing no. his gaze, he holds his palm out towards you, Dan, just glaring up at Ellis. You got five minutes! <clears throat> okay, um... Okay, questions. Why do you think it's the people down below stealing from you? Do we caught one of them? Yes, I bloody caught one of them. What do you think I run here, a circus? Uh, <clears throat> no, I think it's the right answer to that question. <laughs> Did they give any reason as to why they were stealing? Are they starving, dying? Plagued. Did you question them? A bunch of starving catnip licking fur balls wouldn't be stealing precious powders <coughs> and coal. These are just straight up thieves. You're muted. Yes, I am. These powders are used for sniffing, no, not sniffing, smithing, or sniffing, I guess. <laughs> it's used for blasting. Rock. That is interesting. Meanwhile, while he's having this conversation, he's still just glaring up at Eli. Unmoving while still sitting on Kimpachi. Try to pull Kenpachi out as he continues the conversation. As you do so, he very roughly smacks your hand away. I look at him and say, "Um, wh uh, what is wrong with you? Do you have a fascination sitting on my friend?" As you say that, he looks down at him. Bounces up a little bit as you can hear the wind in Kimpachi. Like, <laughs> he's pretty comfy. Well, go get your own. Go get another. Go get someone else. I kind of mean mug him a little bit. 
this an intimidation? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Do oh, it. No. <laughs> okay, Soliana, seeing the back and forth, would reach around uh, Darren and grab Eli's like forearm and say, and just shake her head. Rolling it. Hey, oh, he's he actually have a point in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then why did then then why do I roll a d10 then? Oh, that's a part. Roll d10 for everything now. Yeah. All right. Oh. The change in the system. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but did I beat him because I have a twelve? I don't put their modifiers. But in, defending so always know. wins. No, it's not even defending. It's just you don't know his modifiers. Because he's a NPC. Damn. But in this case, you give off a pretty intimidating look. Um, actually, this is scarier. <laughs> to the rest of you guys, this is probably the scariest that you've seen him. The showing like a different side of him. As he, the other guy though, just does not look to be phased whatsoever. I would. Uh... <coughs> be a little bit more stern and, and just kind of reinforce the and just under her breath she'd lean behind there and say not now two yeah. minutes you like him Patrick will be fine I'm sure he's been sat on before um Okay, so she's stealing blasting powder. Do you know where exactly from? It's from the mines, from people transporting it, or from like a ship, like a storehouse? No, they're stealing it from the Lancasters. The trading group that actually gives us a lot of our supplies. Okay, um, did you question them as to why they were stealing the blasting powder? Usually when people steal something they need to rant and rave about, you know, how they can save the world or renovate that new wall. Yeah, I asked enough questions until the cat lost her tongue. Ha. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have a joking face. Oh. <laughs> Soliana kind of grits her teeth. Okay, um, have you spoke? to the leaders and the folks downstairs. If I could find him, I wouldn't want to speak to him. He says spitting on the ground again. This okay, time landing on Kampalchi's leg. <laughs> um, Katie, your camera just dropped. Oh? No, it was Cross. Oh, no. Sorry, yeah. Okay, um, at this point, Soliana would kind of <clears throat> step up and say, would it be in your interest for us to go down and speak to the leaders for you and figure all of this out? You can do what you want. It don't work for me. About that. If we were to resolve this issue and then maybe offer more assistance with the whole bug thing, would you be willing to pay us? He rubs his beard. Why? Well, maybe not. <laughs> Are you mercenaries? Adventurers is a term I prefer, but yeah. Huh. Sell swords. Pretty much. Standing up, he dusts himself off. You give me anything that I want to hear. More we'll talk. Where can we find you if need be? Emerald Run between 3 and 5, right? <laughs> need you to open the door. Give me one second. Actually, this is a good time for a break. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take another 10 to 15 minute break, get things situated. We'll see you guys back then. See ya.